Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Pond. Uh, I've got some exciting news for everybody today. We received our first shipment of 2021 Lance Truck Campers. Uh, I got two 1172s and a 865. Uh, one of my 1172 is in Java. Uh, that's the new interior color of these. Um, and then I got one in Platinum. I'll be doing a video on both, one today and one probably later on this week um, so be on the lookout for that as well I uh, want to take a moment and thank everybody for uh, the 900 subscribers we're uh, well on our way to 1,000 so if you're not already go ahead and subscribe and help me reach the goal of 1,000 I think we're only like 30 away now uh, so yeah we'll be there before we know it um, but today's video is going to be on this 2021 Lance 1172 with Java interior. So doing a quick look around, this is your passenger side here. I won't be doing too much on the driver's side as I cranked it out as far as it would let me before running into this other one here. Uh, so it's not cranked all the way out and I don't have much room to get over there and show you the driver's side, but I can still access the dump station and show you what, what all is in there. But on the passenger side, what I call the campground side, there's no slide outs on this side. Uh, it's open, gives you more room at the campground. Got a 14 foot power awning. It has auto wind sensing added to it. So uh, if it's too windy outside, it helps you avoid a campground disaster. It's also got a built in LED light strip at the end. Really lights it up. Solar panel up top. Over here, we got two seven gallon propane tanks. Open that up and show you. There we go. One of them has a gauge on it. So usually we'll pull from this one first. When that one's empty, then we know exactly how much propane we have left. Outdoor speakers. We've got two on this side. That's uh, where you access your hot water tank. Then, uh, that one's locked. That's just where you access your water pump. This is your 42 gallon fresh water tank fill. Outdoor AC plugs. We'll get to the inside here in a moment. All right, so here is the rear of the camper. Obviously, it's got a slide out on the rear and driver's side. Backup camera added. All right, guys, I had to locate the keys so I could show you everything this camper has to offer. This is the massive storage space that you have below the slide. Obviously, it's a lot easier to access when this slide is in and you don't risk banging your head into it like I've done before. Go ahead and close that back up. As far as exterior goes, I'm not noticing anything really different about it. Um, the graphics, uh, you could get these in mountain graphics or standard. I kind of like the standard look. It's a lot easier to keep clean. Uh, don't have black streaks really running down it and staying in the graphics uh, plus it's about seven hundred dollars cheaper a lot of people like that here's your driver's side all you're missing out on over here is there's two little storage compartments in this slide and then refrigerator maintenance access but uh i can still show you what's going on over here let's see all right, this is your dump station. You've got your liquid waste and body waste. So you've got, a, let's say a black and gray water tank. Uh, they're about 35 gallons each. This is where you drain your fresh water tank, cold and hot water lines, main power cutoff switch, satellite parka uh, hookups, and external shower. So you know, you got mud on your feet or 
sand on your feet or something, you can just easily wash them down outside, uh, make a mess, clean it up, so on. This is your Onon uh, generator. So if you're dry camping, you crank on the generator, that'll give you AC. Uh, it runs off of propane, so make sure you got them propane tanks filled. These campers are generally set up to run three days uh, dry camping, depending on usage. If you use it sparingly, you'll get more out of it. But I know that y'all are dying to see the inside, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is the new 2021 Lance Interior. Uh, for 2020, they actually released this for the 650, 825, and 865 truck campers. Uh, more of your short bed, you know, half ton to 2500 series truck, truck campers. Um, I figured that they would be doing this for, you know, the larger truck campers uh, soon. And they finally did it in 2021. So we're just going to do a quick overview of this camper and then I'll get more detailed here in a moment. It's looking a lot more modern. And I think that this new color combo looks amazing. We'll start with the rear of the camper here. The 1172 does have the uh, couch in the back. This couch makes into a bed. I can pull that out and show you real quick. Let's see, I'm trying to do this while keeping the phone in my hand. There we go. There we go. All right, so that basically you just pull it out and that's how you make it into a bed. I'm about six foot. I can sleep on there diagonally um, and it's a comfy cushion, so. You can just fold it back in. It's got these little kickouts to make out into a recliner. Kick the feet up and relax. This TV does swing out so you can see it from the couch. Uh, you can see it from the bed, from the dinette. And the couch and the kitchen. You just lightly push this, fold it back down. This is your slide out pantry that I need to put together. There we go. But yeah, store your canned goods in there, spices, whatever you want. Then below, a little bit more storage. Put some books, some camping gear, whatever in there. One one thing I did forget to tell you was, also, not only does this make into a bed or a great place to recline and relax, but it also has a lot of storage underneath. One thing the 1172 isn't lacking on is storage. Um, for instance, underneath your dinette here, you just hit this little button to unlock it and then pull it out. There's our table, which we would put right here. But this camper has plenty of storage. Then this other side has some too. Like I said, I wasn't able to get this slide out all the way so generally you'd have more room than what I have to show you right here, but as you can see, the 865 right there is a little too close to us. A 
lock it back. The dinette also makes into a bed. I've done a video showing uh, how to do that on 1172. Um, so I'm not going to hold the camera while I'm uh, making it into a bed right now. If you need to know how to do that, uh, it's three or four videos back where I showed you how to do it. Go check that out. Um, but I'm about to show you what this looks like with the table down and folded into a dinette. All right, so I got that squared away. Uh, here is your dinette bed. Literally, all you got to do is remove the cushions. There's this latch right here that you swing over 180 degrees, lower the table down, and then lock that back into place. And then just use your cushions as fillers. I put the, you may do it a little different, but I think it works best when you put the two big cushions in the middle and then place these smaller cushions to the side. But that makes for extra sleeping room. And then you also have the bunk bed. Some people just use it as storage, but uh, you have the child restraint bunk bed and that'll hold to, let's see, about 100 pounds. And I'll show you what that looks like down also. All right, so this is our finished product here. Got the child restraint bunk bed. You have this netting here that you can raise up and attach, uh, lock them in. Uh, you have this piece over here that covers the windows, protects from running a foot or anything through the window. Not good. And then you have your lower portion of the bed. Okay, the dinette and the bunk is back to uh, ready to rock and roll. Also, did you notice the new countertops? Absolutely love this new color and all the accent colors. It's a new uh, color on the floors. New, uh, let's see, uh, we call them cabinet colors. And black accents all around. But anyways, now it's uh, time to view the kitchen. Got a lot of countertop space. Got an extra piece here that sticks out for a cutting board or extra countertop space, whatever you want to use it for. But uh, over here are most of all your main controls. And then you got a three burner stove top, oven, and microwave. It is optional uh, where you can delete the microwave and get a microwave convection oven. Uh, my customers tend to like the oven and microwave better, so we tend to stock it that way. But uh, if you delete the microwave, that'll give you an extra storage compartment, kind of like this, uh, where the microwave is. And then you'll just have a microwave convection oven down where the uh, stove or uh, oven is. But yeah, so you got your oven, three burner stove top, microwave, some storage to the left of the microwave. And then storage over here above the sink. You have removable cutting boards. And if you can't tell, this has been winterized. It's not cold here, but all the Lance campers actually come shipped with winterized. Fancy little sink there. Uh, let's see. Got a little bit of storage below the sink here. Store your pots and pans and all your goodies down there. Pull out drawer for silverware underneath the oven. Everything's really easy to access and easy to get to. More drawers underneath your cutting board here. And these uh, are the non-slam drawers. That's cool. All right, and then I went over that. That's where you store your canned goods and spices. Over here to the right, right when you walk in the door, these are all your main switches here. Uh, this will, let's see. This one right here turns on these lights as soon as you walk in. These are for external, passenger, and driver side, backup camera, docking lights. Those are really bright too. Uh, let's see. 
There's where you control your uh, rear slide. Now, um, if you own a Lance already, you know that the uh, remote control will actually control the slides. Uh, the remote control only controls this slide now. And then this one controls the rear one. Then there's your main cutoff switch for the slides. All right. And above here, you have a key ring. Get that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. There's your awning. Power switch. On. Off. Uh, let's see. Extend. Retract. All you got to do is hit it once, too, and it automatically goes out. Uh, and hit this once, and it automatically comes in. And then, if you leave the power on to it, and you have the awning out, gets too windy it rolls itself back in that's really neat that only works if you have the power on to it makes sense right uh, and then your awning light and that turns on the led strip on that awning also in the kitchen or kitchen area your water pump water heater on gas water heater on electric this is where you check your battery levels your fresh water tank level, black water level, and gray water level. So everything's really convenient and placed in one spot, and this is where you check your levels. This is where you turn on your generator. You gotta prime it first, as you can see, stop and prime. Prime it first until this uh, light kicks on. It'll be an orange light. When that kicks on, you're ready to go. Just hit start, hold down start until that thing kicks on. And to turn it off, obviously that's down here where it says stop. This is where you see how many uh, volts are going to the solar panel. Uh, we just got this camper in, doesn't have batteries installed yet, so it's not gonna be putting anything to the batteries. Moving on here, there's your TV. 24 inch LED TV, swings out, see it from the bed. Dinette, trying to move slower so I don't get you dizzy. Couch and kitchen. You can see from all angles of the camper, except for the bathroom. Let's see, refrigerator. This will run off of gas, which is propane, DC, the batteries, and AC. You put it on auto, it's going to select its strongest source. But here you have it. That's a good size fridge. And then built in freezer also. Plenty of room to store meats, Cokes, beer, all the goodies. Up top here, you have your queen size camper mattress. And then to the left, you have a little bit of storage. Put some books in there, phones, iPads, whatever you want. Storage above the window. Storage above the bed. Storage to the right of the bed, storage to the left of the bed, and then right here is your closet. I've got the TV box in there too, but generally you would store clothes in here and not the TV box. All right. Oh, and a nice little handle to help you in the bed and the step. That's new. Usually you have a twisty knob on these, and this year they went with the new door handle. There's your toilet. This does have the dry bath. Some storage above here. A little medicine cabinet. A toothpaste holder. Put your toothbrushes in there, maybe. Whatever. Towel rack. New countertops. Black accents and your shower it's 
a good size shower. It's really amazing what all you can actually put in the bed of your truck. But that's kind of a quick overview of the 2021 Lance 1172 and all the changes that they made. I think Lance is headed in the right direction. I really like this new color. I've been begging my boss to get me a Java uh, interior uh, in one of these campers and he came through for me. I think the dark brown looks really fancy. So like I said, the outside didn't really make a lot of changes, if any, to uh, 2021. The interior hogged all of them. So that's what's new with uh, Lance's new 2021 uh, Lance 1172. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like the changes. Uh, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think of the new changes. Um, again, they've got, uh, let's see, Mystic Shores, Platinum, and Java are the new interiors that you can choose from. Currently, I have Java and Platinum in stock. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a video on the Platinum interior here shortly. Uh, it'll release later on this week. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. A uh, good way to stay tuned with videos I have coming out is uh, there's a notification bell when you subscribe to me that you can hit, and it'll keep you up to date with new videos I have coming out, let you know when I have one release. And be on the lookout for that Platinum, though. Uh, and again, if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to me. Help me reach the goal of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it's amazing. Five months ago, I had... Well, obviously zero, but in about five, six months, we've came a long way, and I'm nearly to a 1,000. So I wanted to thank each and every one of you for that. Uh, if you liked the video and found it helpful, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Uh, I think that lets YouTube know that I'm enjoyable to watch and might know what I'm talking about or something. So go ahead and hit a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this new color. Again, that one's Java and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Keep a lookout for that platinum, it's coming next.